Hi, I'm Laren Brinkman with Dynamic Ratings, and I'm a commission engineer. Today I will be demonstrating how to update DTM firmware versions through USB and TCP. In order to perform DTM firmware upgrades, you will need a DTM, USB A to B cable, Ethernet cable, and a laptop with Athena and DM loader. To upgrade the main module firmware, make sure that the USB A to B is plugged into the USB port on the main module. To update over TCP, you will need to plug the Ethernet into the Ethernet port on the main module. To update the BHM, we will need to move the USB over to the USB port on the BHM. Then to update the PD module, you will need to move the USB over to the USB port on the PD module. To upgrade the DTM firmware versions, you will need to cycle the power. To do this, you will use the breaker by flipping it off and then back on. Before turning this breaker off, make sure that you know what else is being powered off of this breaker and any trips associated with this. Now we can plug in our USB A to B cable and our ethernet and get started. To update the DTM firmware, we will start by opening Athena. In this software, we will be downloading the database. We do this so that we don't lose any data, just in case something goes wrong during upgrade. So here we're going to begin by creating our database. Uh, you name it, whatever the substation is, and the customer. Here we'll input the company information, whichever plant you are at, and all equipment information. In the open system configuration, we will configure whichever type of unit we have there. So here for a DTM, we will include a main module, a BHM, and a PDM. To start, we will begin by using a USB communication. We will load new device data for all three of the modules. Then we will open DM Loader. Make sure the connection is USB. Then we will open the upgrade version for the module that we are currently plugged into. Flip the breaker into the off position. Press Start and then flip the breaker into the on position. Then we will select the BHM firmware upgrade. Flip the breaker into the off position. Press start, then flip the breaker into the on position. After the BHM firmware update is complete, you will see a firmware load succeeded. Then we will move the USB A to B cable over to the PDM and select the PDM firmware upgrade. Flip the breaker into the off position, press start, then flip the breaker into the on position. Now I am going to show you how to do DTM firmware upgrades over TCP. We will change the connection to TCP Check the TCP settings, making sure that it is the same IP address as what is programmed into your DTM and the same TCP port. We will then do system configuration, detect configuration, and then you should see all three of the modules appear if you have all three modules. Then we will select the module that we want to upgrade over TCP and then open up the browser, select the firmware version, 
and click start. On this one, we do not need to power cycle. Then we will open Athena. Open the device configuration for the main. Hit load configuration. And now we see the firmware version just went from 2.05 to 2.12, which is what we upgraded it to be. We'll do the same thing on the BHM. When you go to load the configuration from a device and you see this type of timeout, it is because it is busy, so it's probably taking a measurement and unavailable at the time. So then I press load again and it was able to load. So the firmware version went from 2.06 to 2.13. Then we'll do the same thing again and verify that the PDM has also changed versions. So it went from 2.04 to 2.12. And that is how you update DTM firmware versions. I'm Laren Brinkman and please like and subscribe for more videos.